young team but a talented team, and what a matchup. For the first time since 2017, it is Kansas State and Missouri, and Aoka Lee controls the tip for the Wildcats. Here comes Serena Sundell and company. And right out of the gate, zone look from Missouri. They're going to pack it in. It's almost as though you've got to decide, do you want to give that up in the post? Or are you going to allow this Kansas State team to try to beat you from the perimeter? Tremendous hustle there by Gabby Gregory, who was their leading scorer a season ago, but stepped on the line. I feel like we've seen that a lot this year in college basketball, but it's a turnover on Kansas State. Well, and for a lot of gyms, you've got it's going to be 50-50 possessions that may very well win this thing. Great pass to the corner. Open three is good. Nice start for Abby Fight, a grad student from Normal, Illinois. She was an all-conference player at Evansville, scored over 1,500 points in her career from the Aces. She's got three-point range. Part of this arsenal for Mizzou where they get out and spread the floor. You mentioned it, transfer from Evansville. Missouri has eight newcomers, some talented freshmen, a number of transfers as well. Skip pass across, looking for an answer. Too strong. Aoka Lee has an offensive rebound. Sundell for the first time. Got it. And that's on cue right there. Couldn't have asked for a better start for Serena Sundell. But it comes off the rebound from Aoka Lee. That's the cleanup factor. She's going to get you some offensive rebounds, allow you to reset second chance opportunities. Mama Dembele has had a great tempo and goes inside. Came out of the middle of the lane, didn't pick it up, and then just turns the corner to get deep. She can control it out front for Mizzou, just as Sundell does for the Wildcats. Sanchez fades away. Nice shot in the mid-range from Giselis. On the team last year, but was injured in the summer playing with Spain and one of their youth teams. Slaughter was short. Sanchez has the rebound. And those are the looks you want. The in and out opportunity is going to be there. Force this K-State defense to have to shift. Mizzou just has not been able to capitalize yet. Going to go over the top to Lee, and they do. Tough to handle. Second chance goes. Taryn Sides checks in for Kansas State. They go inside to Frank. She likes that matchup, but misses. Offensive rebound and a foul called again. Simply almost completely automatic. We said earlier, 87%. Uh, yeah, I know. I feel like I do lot. this all the time. Okay. I, this happens all the time. It doesn't matter where I go. <laughs> I, I, I will jinx. Almost taken away, and it is Dembele, who is one of the top stealers in the country. Misses, but the follow is there. Kansas State, Missouri, separated by just two points. Another Wildcat turnover, though. A few of those early on so far. That's their fourth. But only trailing Missouri by two. This is a Missouri team that can really light it up. Three on the way. That was tipped by Sundell. And that is another thing she does really well is block shots from a guard position. Contact there. In terms of that quarterback of what Kansas State needs, but has also flourished when they can move her off the ball by Missouri. What they've wanted to do defensively, muck it up and pack it in the lane. Taryn Sides, a freshman from Phillips, Phillipsburg, Kansas now to run the show for Kansas State. Also out there, Ziana Walker, transfer from Louisville, one of two transfers from the Cardinals. Young faces for Missouri, or excuse me, for Kansas State. We know there's a lot of youngsters that get time for Missouri, but both Sides and Walker have been key factors here early in the season for the Wildcats. Other aspects on the guard play, whether it's been on defense, but also giving a boost offensively. Tough three here goes. High arcing shot. Gregory working for it. They just cannot find a lane to get it to her. Sides. Tend to shoot, pulls up mid-range, splash. More movement against this zone. Whether it's some high picks to the middle of the floor, that's where you're going to beat it in the gaps. Judd, mid-range, kind of off balance. Sanchez, another Sella rebound. Sanchez giving Jeff Mitty some big minutes here early in this ball game. Up top to her. Oh, and the turnover right on cue. It was a decent look, but maybe too far under the hoop. And Belly, what a crossover. Goes inside with a left hand. A late whistle against sides. They've needed it. It's getting to the free throw line, finding an open person, just making that next pass. Taking Serena Sundell out of your lineup here, putting a freshman point guard out on the floor against one of the best on-ball defenders in the country, and things, well, that's a little scary. Yes, there's a lot of pressure right now on these younger Kansas State guards. That'll help alleviate. 
fighting through it. Slaughter goes around Lee. Left hand rims off. K-State will push the tempo here with sides. Gregory lobbing up. Ioka Lee. Great catch and finish. It's a rework in the clock right now. About a four-second differential. Eight to shoot. Frank fighting through traffic. Stepping back. Three to shoot. Kicks it out. Two to shoot. Mid-range shot no good. And K-State has a chance here because that went out of bounds with 3.3. And they get it on the move. Into Glenn. Gets beyond mid-court. Has a pretty good look on the run. It's just short. Well, we saw six turnovers by Kansas State, which is a bit uncharacteristic for this group, only averaging about 13.3 per game. But that's the pressure defense right out of the gate from Missouri. Much more aggressive, I thought. Neither team shooting the ball well from behind the three-point line. They're going to give them those shots. It's about defending shooters and tracking down long rebounds. There's Haley Frank now over to Fight, who has six points. She's hit both of her triples. Judd traveled. It was a nice mid-range shot, but turns it over first. Ashton Judd, she's having a great year. She is, and she's coming off an all-SEC freshman team selection last year in 2023. She's been the second-leading scorer so far for this Tiger squad, but a young lady who just continues to work at her game day in, day out. They can, can't keep her out of the gym at Mizzou. And she's been a big factor for some of the early successes that that this Missouri team has had. Ioka Lee fouled inside. There was one thing Robin Pinchton talked to us about with her Missouri team and even said it to me today at shoot around was got some got some players who like their routines, so we gotta make sure they get through their shooting routines. And part of that is just understanding what you need individually, and you know it. So it, to be able to kind of feel like you can have a rhythm, whether it's in a game or in practice, even on an off day. Whatever that looks like, everybody becomes a creature of habit. I think college student athletes, or probably athletes in general, become creatures of habit. Did you have any? Uh, I had a few, random ones. Okay. Yes, random. Like you have to make one before you go in, yeah, before, yeah, yeah. You know, all that stuff. Inside, Frank over the top of Lee there. Nice finish by Haley Frank. Inside, Gregory leans in, misses. K State very selective with their shots early on. Had a couple looks from three maybe on that possession. Fight. Fires away, but short. What a save right in to Hicka Fedrape. Missouri 12 to shoot now. Frank got it right over Gregory. Rebound. They've got five, excuse me, offensive rebounds so far. Extra possessions may be the difference in this game later on. Sundell. Her second attempt from three is no good. It goes off Judd's foot. It's okay, State. Mismatches and look for the isolation for Lee, but they've got to get better movement, find the gaps, and shoot the ball with some confidence. Lee trying to work inside. Nice move to get deep in the post, Briley. Off 11 points, five steals in their win against McNeese. Against McNeese and Wisconsin had 11 in each of those games. She's hit a three in every game so far this season. Thought about one right there. Instead, much better look, but off the mark from Walker. But that ball never left the left side of the floor, Chucky. And if you're Kansas State, you got to get better movement. Wild pass, turnover. So if I'm Robin Pinkston and they, this is a fast-paced up-and-down offense right now for them, they need those possessions. You really you can't front her, can you? It's really difficult unless you get good help side and you have to have rotations. That's the difference. For teams that rotate well, then you can exploit that. If you are not going to rotate, you got to force her to go over your defense. Sides inside, Lee now just arriving. Goes up. Whistle. Because that's where you can pick up a call sooner or later. That might go the other direction, be a whistle again. Not anymore. <laughs> today, okay, yeah, not, not, anymore, not today, I okay. No. When I was 20, 21, maybe. Okay. Tough catch right there for Shrek. Finally able to recover it. Now a steal. K-State numbers ahead. Walker up and gets the roll. Nice finish over the... Out to Slaughter. Over the top of Lee. That is a tough one to get to go when you're looking over Ioka Lee at 6'6". Six six. Deep three from sides. Tipped out by Lee.
Inside low pass. Lee finishes through contact. Almost nine and a half makes per game. Top 15 in the country. They've gotten great looks. And I think Missouri understands that. They know for them, with a lot of newcomers and young faces, these are big-time games that they cannot allow those opportunities to slip by. Two of Missouri's first three SEC opponents as Frank hits the mid. And those are the possessions where you've stepped Ioka Lee out of the middle of the lane. Inside the lee, and you cannot stop her at that. As we said, it's stamina, consistency, and her comfort level coming back. Missed over 600-plus days from the last time she had played to the exhibition game in November. 16 points to lead the Wildcats for Ioka Lee. Scoop layup. What a finish. Played in every game a year ago as a freshman and is one of those statement makers. Shooting numbers have really struggled. She's dealing with a little bit of a wrist issue right now, but you know what she is capable of. 18 and a half points per game last year as the foul is whistled against Jalen. But if Shrek, Dembale, players like that can put it on the floor and attack, I think that you're looking for uncontested threes. Probably had some great battles with Kansas State back in their day. Lee just turns. She doesn't even have to face the bat. Inside. Gregory, great defense. And a lot of contact down low. And Missouri looking for a call. Can't get it. They had Judd one-on-one against Gregory. But a good defensive stand by the Wildcats. Gregory, corner three, short. Rebound, Frank. Notre Dame's Hannah Hildago, who is a freshman, leads the nation with 48 steals through eight games. She is one of the fantastic freshmen that is on the landscape of women's college basketball right now. But Dembale herself just making things happen defensively for this Mizzou team all season so far. Driving again, trying to wrap a pass around. Ioka Lee got a piece of it. 17 seconds left in the first half. Kansas State by seven. Have played much of this second quarter without Serena Sundell. Five seconds. Sides going to work. To the corner. Gregory open. No. Sanchez unmarked. Is it good? It is. They count the bucket. Not sure how Gisela Sanchez ended up absolutely alone. Your Missouri, do you change anything offensively? Like you said, they got good looks. What do you tweak for them? I like to see them put the ball on the floor and get downhill. That's where they had the most success in that first 10 minutes. You've got to attack this Kansas State defense. They want to pressure you out front, make them have to choose. Maybe they gamble, take advantage. This is Kansas State defense, one of the best in the Big 12. It is the best in the Big 12, one of the best in the nation. 51 points allowed per game, 32% from the field, 20% from three. Those are ridiculous numbers. Well, and I think the biggest factor is that they anticipate so well, and they move. It is on the pass. It is not necessarily on the catch. They're moving on the pass, and that is hard to teach, but Jeff Mitty has drilled with this group that they could really win games and hang their hat on their defense. Oh, Ioka Lee cannot get the roll. That goes off Missouri. Sundell wanted the triple, but Lee was trotting back. She thought that was going to roll in. Well, and that's also Gabby Gregory keeping that possession alive. And as we said, hasn't been able to score the basketball like she did a season ago where she was almost 20 points a game. First team, all Big 12. But that's the All-American right there. Great execution. Missouri's going to have to find an answer. You need more pressure on these Wildcat guards. Well, Ioka Lee has started this season looking to add another All-American nod. Frank inside. That was tipped. Sundell altered that shot. Now she's running things. Gregory arriving on the left wing. Extra pass. Glenn for three. Rims off. Lee tips it out. And again, second possess, second possession, second chance opportunities. Doesn't always have to be a putback and a score. You keep the possession alive and make this defense work. Sundell, great patience and just rolls off. But a chance for a couple. Get that defense up in the air and then give yourself a chance at the free throw line. I like all the attempts she's had because it's initiating. Mentioned in the first half, she's from just 40 minutes up the road in Maryville, Missouri. A lot of people that have not seen her since high school and I asked her, what will they see and notice that's different? She said, probably my decision making. I'm much more of a pass first type of player now than a scorer. And there it is from Grace Slaughter. 
Really good sight for a Missouri fan to see that one go down. Could not have come at a better time where this Missouri team's got to find some continuity on offense. Robin Pinkston talked about it, is that their half court has to be better. Their transition D's been good, but in the half court, they've given up too many easy buckets to Kansas State today. Sundell out in front, an easy layup for Serena Sundell. Fight, hit a couple in the first half. That's too strong. And not a bad look if you're Missouri. They got what they wanted on the other end, one and done, but you've got to be able to capitalize on those types of possessions. Glenn, wide open mid-range shot. That's good. Those are the possessions and the spots where K-State has to be. Middle of the floor, good things happen against the zone when the ball gets to the middle. Slaughter trying for another one. She got it. Two straight. Outstretched hand of 6-6 Ioka Lee. We said pull her out of the lane. Slaughter can do that on that matchup. Now two for six from three. Glenn has the answer off the bank. Ashton Judd in a little trouble. Frank comes over, rims out. Missouri has to be careful, down 14. Now this is where this game can get away from you pretty quickly, especially with the ability of Kansas State to score the basketball. Sundell skips up top for Gregory, trying to go into Lee. They do, and again, you cannot stop her when she gets it in that spot. She's so deep in the post, and now a great steal by Serena Sundell, and this is where Kansas State has just controlled it from the tip. Judd, after the hesitation, can't get it to go. K Street trying to make it 20. Kicked out from Sundell. Splash! Briley Glenn. About 35% from behind the three-point line, but the type of player that when she gets on a roll and has confidence, you can see it brimming and coming to the top, shooting the ball with great, great effort here this afternoon. Turning and fading. Judd can't get it again. Tipped out for Sundell. Kansas State, no signs of stopping. Another three on the way, and they can't miss. So this is where, if you are Missouri, you got to take advantage. But they have just put their foot on the gas, gotten stopped on one end, and knocked down big-time threes to start this third quarter. Jalen Glenn was 0 for 5 from long range before that one went down for. This defense swarming right now. Slaughter, 5 to shoot. Offensive foul called. Kansas State looking to build on a 24-point lead out of the timeout. 4.05 to play in the third quarter. Another three on the way. That is good. This is really what could take them over the edge. If they can shoot the ball anything like what we've seen in this third quarter, this is a very dangerous team. Inside Sanchez. That's good. And just so easy right now for this Kansas State offense. And Missouri not able to find an answer. Looking for different lineups. A couple different opportunities for people to get a chance to get on the floor. Dembele got one back. Sides looking for back-to-back. Rebound Dembele, and she wants to move. Has great speed with the ball. Frank, nice behind the back. Inside, and what a finish with the left hand. Sides coming back the other way. Looking for Sanchez. What a pass! Great vision from the front. Because her assist numbers are high, her turnover numbers low, and she's got great vision on the floor. Wow, we had a great angle of that, too. That was impressive. Dembele inside, step through, couldn't get it. Late whistle, though, and two free throws. But because of her ability to generate offense with her defense, but because they haven't necessarily been able to get the, spot, the stops on the other end, the Wildcats have shot it so well. just hasn't been anywhere near what Missouri likes to play at. Glenn inside to Lee, another one for Ioka Lee. One of the changes Jeff Mitty has made this season with Lee back in the lineup is that they don't post her necessarily as high up the lane, but they allow her to get deep, really deep. And tonight, this Missouri team has not been able to find an answer to go one-on-one -on -one against Lee on that low block. Tigers 25% from three tonight, and Lee. And that has been one of the things that I think is she's gotten back in her time away from the game, dealing with injury a year ago, getting more comfortable on the floor. That has been a thing for her that has come back, and has come back in space. 
Missed last year at knee surgery. Nine seconds left in the third quarter. Sanchez, five seconds. Possession not going anywhere, but Sundell, nice move, pulls up, hits it. And the crowd loves that from Serena Sundell. She's got nine points, seven assists, and Kansas State has a 31-point lead. 31-point lead going to the fourth quarter. Kansas State leading Missouri in the inaugural Bill Snyder Basketball Classic from the Civic Arena in St. Joseph, Missouri. Complete shocker, I think, from what we expected. Well, I think both of these teams being able to be competitive every game, but this Kansas State team coming in ranked 13th in the nation, sitting at 8-1, and one, and when you shoot 71-plus percent in that third quarter, really Missouri opportunities that they missed early in this game in the second quarter and in that first half kind of snowballed themselves, and Kansas State taking complete advantage. Ioka Lee. The one thing for Missouri that's been pretty automatic, when Mama Dembele has put the ball on the ground, she has penetrated at will. Yes, good things happen when she puts the ball on the floor. And that has got to be a point of emphasis. When she has the ability to get downhill, she's going to create for herself, but she's going to create for her teammates. Sundell working at the high post. Nice step through there, lays it up and in. It's Serena Sun. Slaughter deep three. A couple in the third quarter, which was good to see her get going, but still as a team struggling. Sundell lining one up and rims off. Offensive rebound, Sanchez. Gisela Sanchez. And she's been giving Jeff Mitty about 18 minutes off the bench this season. And it's been for different players. And you like that matchup and the, the opportunity for her and Lee to be in the game. In the post area, Sundell kicks it out. Extra pass. Walker driving, really good off the dribble. Talked about the gauntlet they are going to see in two of their first three games in the SEC. LSU. Because the one thing that just allowed this to snowball in that third quarter was the fact that you couldn't get stopped. SEC preseason poll, one that was led by LSU, South Carolina, and Tennessee. Sanchez has another offensive rebound. You've also got to keep your eye on Ole Miss. They've been in the AP Top 25. This is the state has been... Dembele going quickly now and slashing. Trying to go inside to Slaughter, taken away by Sanchez. The pass ahead, Walker, left hand, rims off. Put a hand in the face of the shooter. So even though it might be the good shot within the framework, it has been a tough shot over this Wildcat D. And it has been the Wildcats defense and offense, for that matter, that have ruled the night. Look at this Kansas State team. And I don't know the, the numbers on this. I don't have the exact facts. But I have to think there are very, very few teams. And you think about Serena Sundell. You think about the Glens twins that they started games as freshmen. They were really kind of thrown into that fire. Yep. But they responded of this Kansas State team on both ends of the floor. Inside, Gregory again with Gregory and Sundell. Inside, that one short offensive rebound, a whistle, so Abby. One of those go-to players as this team continues and looks at SEC play. Solid rebounder. She averaged eight point or eight rebounds per game for her career. you got to respond. <laughs> Gregory just off the mark, and right on cue, Fight does pull down another rebound, her fifth of the night. Shrek for three, hits it. A few more non-conference games before kicking off Big 12 play. On December 30th on the road at Cincinnati. They've got three newcomers right on the That's the exciting part. And keep in mind, 18 games in the Big 12 season, four Big 12 players in women's basketball. 12 Kansas State, one of them. Texas looks really good so far this season. In City, Missouri, the Class 5 Player of the Year in the state. She was back-to-back All-State holding tonight, delivered the game ball. Both of these two schools' football programs having great seasons. But for those that see this score tonight, and you look at sort of this lopsided win by the Wildcats, I want the puzzle here with eight newcomers, so many young faces, and some freshmen who have had just... Started off a little shaky, the foul trouble, but she ended up playing really well. Nice pass again, no finish there, but Taryn Sides showing off some great vision and ability. 
I love her out front with the basketball in her hands. She really does have speed and the capacity to make good things happen in penetration. And just also a lot like what we've seen from Mama Dembale, who is a senior, but as a freshman, keeps that dribble alive, allows this Kansas State offense to continue to move and happen. All of that, a real positive for Jeff Mitty as things move forward. Kansas State will dribble it out, and the Wildcats will improve to 9-1 and one on the season. Their third straight victory over the Missouri Tigers. A rivalry renewed for the first time since 2017, and Kansas State snaps a three-game losing streak.